Hey, it's JC at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741953160097. Chuck's busy, anxious to get this last box chopped open so he can go take a nap. So we'll get this box open. And in between the last unboxing and this one here, I had a chance to read a few of the books that came out this week. This is certainly The Extermination. Certainly the best book for Marvel this week, X-Men Black. The best thing about this book is the J. Scott Campbell cover. The Chris Bocciolo artwork on the inside, I'm sorry, just very too cartoony. He is not a good artist for the X-Men. Uh, I know he's a fan favorite, but look at that. That's just, she looks like a little girl. Um, he's just not a good artist for the X-Men. Uh, he needs to go back doing uh, Neil Gaiman's Death. Uh, the best books from DC that I read so far, Drowned Earth, was very good. Heroes in Crisis goes without saying. And also goes without saying that damn Batman. Batman, you just... Batman's always got his own agenda. But it's quite good. Make this... Uh, certainly make sure this is on your list to buy tomorrow. I looked briefly at the Justice League Dark and Wonder Woman Witching Hour. What I saw, I liked. I want to certainly sit down and dedicate the time to read that one. But let's see what else is in this box here. Because we've got some different covers that are still missing on some of the titles. Looks like the cover Bs to the Witching Hour are missing. I see we got some more second printings of Venom First Toast here. This is issue number four, the second printing. The Mark Bagley artwork. Let's pull back on this a little bit. There we go. The Mark Bagley artwork there. What if magic became a Sorcerer Supreme? Looking forward to giving that a read through. Should be pretty good. Another one of the many, many covers to Archie Meets Batman 66. That cover there is being set aside for a customer. Black Death, Sex Death Revolution. That is set aside for a customer. Here we've got the Extermination. We've got the Connecting Covers with Cyclops on it. Nice to see Cyclops uh, on the cover of this. Here we've got the Dotson, Terry Dotson's cover to Emma Frost Black. Very nice. That's probably the second best part of Emma Frost Black, right behind the J. Scott Campbell cover. And then we've got Justice League Dark and Wonder Woman, The Witching Hour. Look at that cover right there. This thing is going to be in demand. I'm going to, once I get off the doing this video and invoicing all my product out, I'll call it Diamond and reorder some more copies of that because I estimate if it isn't already going for well above cover price on eBay, I'm sure it will be. Thought of Spiders. This uh, this is the cover A on that. Looks like I've got a couple of damaged copies there. This one certainly, you see, is damaged. Right there, and certainly right there. And that uh, would certainly appear to be a packing damage. I'm not going to put that on, uh, I'm not going to put that on UPS. That's not UPS's fault. That is 100% diamond. And it's not the Olive Branch, it's the branch in uh, Pittsburgh, or not Pittsburgh. Where, where are they from now? They're from. Uh, Plattsburgh, New York. So it's some of the New York Diamond Branch. Another cover to Archie Meets Batman 66. That's the Mike Aldred cover. One of those copies are being set aside for a customer. Here we've got the Bowen Parish version cover. Might as well set that aside. That way I don't even have to worry about putting something that people can't even read the logo, don't, don't even know what it is. We've got another cover to, cover A to Sonic the Hedgehog.
latest issue to Wayward from Image. We've got one of the cover Bs from Barbarella. See, this is coming to an end soon. They're going to be doing Barbarella and Dejathoris. I'm not sure why, but they are. West Coast Avengers number three. Hopefully, will be history soon. If you like the book, I, I'm glad you like the book, but it's not selling. Uh, speaking of not selling, uh, the Unsellable Wasp, I actually sold a copy last week, so I've sold 20% of my run. So I am very happy to have sold that. New Grimm's Fairy Tales, Tales of Grim Tales of Terror. Those are both being set aside for customers. You've got Infinite Warps, Iron Hammer, number two. I know people have been inquiring about that. And it looks like there's certainly going to be books damaged on the bottom of this corner here. And sure enough, in this book here, Invader Zim, it's cover, cover B, damaged. And surprisingly, no other copies are damaged. I don't know how they escaped that, but I am quite glad they did. Got the Black Panther Battle Lines cover, which actually is on an issue of Black Panther. However, at least one damaged copy with that. At least one damaged copy. Grim Tales of Terror. That's cover, well, that's cover A. Green Lantern, Huckleberry Hound. That's the B cover. I know there's more copies around here someplace. We've got cover C to Barbarella. And then we've got our replacement copies of Curse of Brimstone. These had a page that was, wasn't was printed, so uh, when you come in tomorrow, just let me know that you, you bought that, and we'll go ahead and give you a copy. There's a few people that, that uh, their copies were pulled, and they did not get their copies. As uh, once it was revealed that it was missing that page. Star Wars Adventures cover B, issue number 15. Here's the Hawkeye. Although it doesn't quite look like the Hawkeye we all know and love, but it still looks better than the movie Hawkeye for West Coast Avengers. That's a Battle Lines cover. Yeah, I see there's going to be an upcoming cover to West Coast Avengers that's going to have Jimmy Kimmel on it. Sort of a takeoff on the old David Letterman Avengers cover. Got Paradise Court. That's from Xenoscope. That's being set aside. There's another copy to... Huckleberry Hound and Green Lantern. We've got the cover B's to Star Wars Adventures, Tales from Vader's Castle. And we've got the Deathstroke and Yogi Bear. Part one of four with Secret Squirrel. Another one of the Archie Meets Batman covers. That is cover F. Paradise Court cover. Got the Thing and Mr. Fantastic. Got Marvel 2 and 1 number 11. Almost looks very John Byrne-ish. Here's the Witch's Halloween special. Somebody's going to be very happy to, to get that. Barbarella cover D.
Scary Clown Man, Ice Cream Man. Here's the cover A's to Old Man Logan. I bought very little of those because the cover B's were much cooler. But the Maestro's uh, Trade Paperback Volume 1, $16.99. Usually, Image will have their Volume 1's be $9.99, so I'm a little disappointed that it's... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> it's more than what I think it should be. Tony Stark Iron Man. This is the Battle Lines cover for this. Uh, this copy here is damaged. That was a packing damage from Diamond. Certainly not something that I'll put on a new PS. And then we can also see that these copies here have some tears in them. So those are going to be damages as well. Regular cover to Invader Zim, the non damaged cover. Uber Invasion, copy to be set aside for some customers. Got some more Curse of Brimstones. Paradise Court, cover B from Xenoscope. Looks like these are probably the cover A's from Stranger Things. And we're still looking for our cover D's, the photo cover. Billy Tushi, uh, cover for Archie meets Batman. The very talented Billy Tushi, who of course created She. Got another Invader Zim here. It came out on a Wednesday. This is for a pull and hold customer. Finally, we've got one of our, this is cover B of Batman Mask, uh, Arkham Dreams by Sam Keith. We've got cover A's that are out here someplace. Superman Top Cat, uh, issue one. And it's ironic that you got Top Cat here when this is National Cat Day. Certainly enjoy, if you got cats, take care of them. One day they won't be there for you. Got the regular covers to Black Panther. Thought this uh, the story. I had much more hopes for the story. Uh, it has not panned out as as well as I think it should have. It started off great, but uh, really uh, slowed down from there. There's the action figure cover to What If Magic Became the Sorcerer Supreme. Issue number two of Man Eaters. Really trying hard with the uh, with the gimmicky covers on those there. Here is the cover B, the, the Virgin cover to Superman and Top Cat as they're taking on a Mazo. Legend of Baby Metal, was it uh, Apocrypha? So hopefully there's some Baby Metal fans. We've got a few of those trades. These are from, what is this, IDW? This is... Uh, this is $24.99. It says higher in Canada. Poor Canadians. They won't even tell you how much extra you have to pay. Here's Deathstroke and Yogi Bear, uh, number one. And that damn Yogi Bear is in the uh, he's in the Rangers a picnic basket. Uh, you don't want to get in Deathstroke's picnic basket there, Yogi. He ain't going to be quite as forgiving as Ranger, Ranger Rick. And if you want to check out something online, look up YouTube. Look up uh, John K's uh, Yogi Bear uh, cartoons. They are 
different. Very different. Another Archie meets Batman 66 with Betty and Veronica. Batman's hightailing out of there because he's a kid and letting Robin uh, get stuck with the bill. That's cover D. Here is the photo covers to Stranger Things. The retailer's cover to Star Wars Adventures. Cover E to Barbarella. Got some more Uber invasions. Those are all set aside for customers. We've got the other copies of the Avengers Halloween special. I've not had a chance to look at this yet. New issue of Gold Digger. It's for a pull and hold customer. Cover A to Barbarella. Here's the variant cover for Hex Wives. Cover A of Rick and Morty, issue number 43. The Virgin cover to Shanghai, Shanghai Red. Got Injustice versus the Master of the Universe, issue number four. Realm issue number ten. That is the uh, uh, the blank cover. Here's more regular covers on Man Eaters. We've got the Virgin cover of Nightwing and Miguel Gorilla. few more comics here. Cover A of Batman and the Max Arkham Dreams by Sam Keith. We still have copies of issue one still available. We've got issue number six, second printing of Venom. Somebody was looking for that, so I'll make sure I just set that copy aside for them right now. So when they come in, uh, it'll be here waiting for them. Cover B of Shanghai Red. Issue 3, second printing of Venom First Host. I could swear I grabbed those out of there already. Maybe they sent me two extra copies. Uh, Old Man Hawkeye, issue number 10. Uh, this is a 12 issue series. We'll be coming to an end. Two more issues. And we've got just a few more here, and this is it. We've got some more of the Venom issue six, second printings. There's no reason why they couldn't have put the logo right there. That's crossed. This is the Fatal Fantasy cover to crossed. We got Snow White and Seven Dead Dwarfs. And we've got the new issue of Daredevil. Seems like Daredevil just came out, but this is issue number 610, The Death of Daredevil, which I'm sure will be rebooted as a new number one. There's Grimm's Tales of Terror, issue number eight. That's the cover C. And then finally, the cover B to the very, very late Doom Patrol. If you like these videos, certainly subscribe. And if you do subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications. Thank you.